measure, measure the intercondylar distance, which is 200. And now we are ready to tell the computer the CR position. So slide forward to Moko and slide all the way back and hold it. And there's a very convenient foot pedal that comes with the device so that you don't have to uh, contaminate the instrumentation. Now to Moko, we're going to, we're going to measure you sliding all the way forward and all the way back. And when I tell you to, if you can go through that motion now, slide forward and all the way back. Good, and you can get an immediate graphic on the machine to see whether the range of movement was, was uh, recorded. Tomoko, I'd like you to see whether you can slide a little bit more forward now. And we can easily just redo that tracing. So Tomoko, if you want to practice, just slide all the way forward, as far forward as you can. Good, and back. Good. Let's do that again. Slide forward and back and hold. Very good. Now we're ready to go to the left shoulder. So when I tell you to, we'll be ready to go all the way to the left. And back. Good. Let's do that again. Left and back. Good. Excellent. Now we're ready to go to the right shoulder. First of all, I want you to come forward and all the way back. We're back to our beginning position. Now, now to the right shoulder and back. Good. And our final record is to open and close. So when I tell you to, we'll be ready to do that. Now, open and close. Excellent. Good. That's all done. So the draw tracing is complete. This information will be downloaded into the computer and analyzed and articulator settings and can be transferred to the articulator.